Pond Animals by Colin Harris Pond Animals Contents Introduction, page 2 The Stickleback, page 6 The Water Boatman, page 11 The Grass Snake, page 16 The Common Frog, page 22 Pond Dipping, page 26 Things to Do, page 28 Index, page 29 Introduction. Look at this pond. Look in the air and on the bank as well as on the water. How many animals can you see? What do you think the heron is looking for? These are some more of the animals that live in and on the water. How many different animals can you see? This book will tell you more about some of these animals. The stickleback. Sticklebacks are very common fish. They live in rivers, ponds and ditches. An adult stickleback is about this big. Tail fin. 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 Gill. Eye. Mouth. Adult stickleback. In winter it is very difficult to tell a male from a female stickleback because they look alike. Sticklebacks in spring. In spring, males and females look different. The female looks fat because she is full of eggs. The male has blue eyes and a red chest. The male picks out one patch of the pond. He thinks that this patch is his. He attacks every male that swims into it. The male builds a nest in his patch. First, he digs a pit. Then, he pulls thin strips from pond plants and sticks them down in the pit. When the nest is ready, the male must attract some females, so he signals to them with a rapid zigzag swim. If a female spots him, she swims down to the nest and tunnels head first into it. She lays her eggs, then he pushes her out. The male does more zigzag swims, so more females will come to his nest. How the male builds his nest and attracts females. 1. The male digs a pit. 2. He builds a nest. 3. He does a zigzag swim. 4. The female lays her eggs. 5. The male pushes her out of the nest. 6. He looks for more females. The females do not help the male. He stays with the nest. In about seven days, the eggs hatch out. The male stays for about one more week. If the baby fish swim off, he catches them in his mouth and spits them back into the nest. The male collects a baby. In the end, he goes off to build a fresh nest. Sticklebacks live for about three years. The Water Boatman A water boatman is about this big, a water boatman. The water boatman is very common in ponds. It swims on its back paddling with its long back legs. This is what it looks like under a lens. Body, head, legs, swimming legs. A water boatman seen from the top of the pond. Wings hidden under back, eyes. A water boatman seen from the bottom of the pond. The water boatman has wings. It can fly from pond to pond to hunt for the animals it eats. It is very good at hunting. When the water boatman catches an animal, it stabs it with its rostrum. The rostrum looks like a long pin which sticks out from the water boatman's mouth. It sucks the flesh from the animal's body until just the skin is left. The rostrum seen under a lens. A water boatman attacking a fish. Do not put a water boatman in a tank of pond animals because it will eat them all, and do not dip your hand in, or it will nip you, too. The water boatman often swims to the top of the pond to collect air. The air sticks to its body. When it swims back down to the bottom of the pond, it must cling to something, or the air on its body will pull it back up. The water boatman collects air. It clings on to a plant.
At the end of winter, the female lays her eggs. She lays one at a time and sticks them into slits, which she cuts into the stem of a pond plant. The baby water boatmen have red eyes. They do not have wings. At the end of summer, they are adults. Water boatmen live for about one year. A baby water boatman. The grass snake. The grass snake is the biggest British snake, but male grass snakes are not as long as females. Female grass snakes are about this big. A female grass snake. The patches on this map tell you where the grass snake lives. You can see that it is not very common. A map to tell you where grass snakes live. The grass snake is not dangerous. It will not attack you. If it sees you, it will rush off. The grass snake rests at night. It hunts in the day. It is sometimes called the water snake because it swims well and hunts in water. A grass snake swimming. It hunts for tadpoles, frogs and fish. When it catches something big, it swims back to the bank to eat. The snake eats animals in one mouthful. Its mouth stretches so that the animal will fit in. The skin on its body stretches too to let the food go down. Snakes can eat more than one frog at a time. A grass snake eating. In summer, the female snake lays her eggs. She lays from 11 to 25 eggs, often in garden compost or under rotting logs. A grass snake with its eggs. A grass snake egg hatching out. The eggs hatch out in about 10 weeks. A grass snake shedding its skin. As the grass snake grows, it sheds its skin from time to time. When winter comes, grass snakes hibernate. To hibernate is to sleep for a long time without eating or drinking. Often many snakes collect in one spot. Sometimes they tunnel into garden compost. They stay there until the spring. The common frog. The common frog is about this big. Hump, colour blotches, brown patch, damp skin, web. A common frog. The frog's long back legs help it to jump and to swim well. The blotches on its skin help it to blend in with plants and rocks so that it is difficult to see. Adult frogs do not live in ponds. In the day they rest in long wet grass. At night they go hunting on the land. They hunt for little animals like insects and slugs. They can catch insects in a split second. It happens so fast that we cannot see it. Can you see how they do it? A frog catching an insect. In winter, frogs hibernate. They creep under logs, into garden compost, into tunnels and pond banks, and sometimes into the mud on the bottom of the pond. In spring, it is time to lay eggs. The adult frogs go back to the pond. The females lay more than 1,000 eggs in the pond water. Then the adults abandon the eggs and go back to the land. The eggs are left in the water. The tadpole grows like this. 1. First day. The female lays the eggs. There are black dots in them. 2. About 10 days, the black dots grow. They look like commas. 3. About two weeks, the tadpole hatches. It cannot see or eat yet. 4. About three weeks, the tadpole's mouth and eyes grow. It can eat green plants. 5. About seven weeks, the back legs are growing. They are stumps at first. 6. About ten weeks, the tadpole comes up for air. It can eat flesh and plants. 7. About 13 weeks, all four legs are growing. The tail is not so long. 8. About 15 weeks, the froglet comes out of the water. It can live on the land. 9. About 3 years, 
The froglet is an adult frog. It is time to lay more eggs. Pond dipping. Many children like to go pond dipping, but there are some things you must not forget. 1. Ponds are dangerous. It is best to go pond dipping on a class trip or with an adult that you trust. 2. Do not drop rubbish into the pond. It will kill the animals that live there. 3. If you intend to look at the animals you catch for a day or two, put them in a big glass tank. Fill it with pond water, not tap water. Tap water will kill them. Put in some pond plants. Plants pass air into the water. Give them some food, but not too much. You can ask about food at pet shops. 4. Put all the animals you catch back into the pond you got them from. 5. Do not forget that there are many living things on the banks of the pond too. Look out for them and do not block up tunnels, upset nesting birds or stand on plants. 6. You must not catch this pond animal. If you do catch one, put it back. Things to do. Question 1. What does the male stickleback do when his nest is ready? Why does he do this? Question 2. What does he do when the baby fish swim off from the nest? Question 3. How does the water boatman stop himself from bobbing up to the top of the pond? Question number 4. Why must you not put a water boatman in a tank of pond animals? Question number 5. Do grass snakes live in Scotland? Question number 6. How many eggs does a grass snake lay? Question number 7. Do adult frogs live in ponds? Question number eight. When do back legs grow on tadpoles? Question number nine. How long is a female grass snake? Question number ten. Draw a pond animal you must not catch. Question number eleven. Draw a fish tank. Put in some things you think are good for pond animals. Now draw some animals in the tank. Question number twelve. Why do you think ponds are dangerous?